Yo, 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 welcome back to Miller Majesty Mentorship on Beginners to Pro. This lesson is 8 or 15, and then we are going to be discussing about price delivering algorithm. A lot of traders don't understand that it's algorithm that controls the market. Many people believe that price is going up because uh, people are buying or price is coming down because people are selling. There are a lot more to it, you understand? So in this video, I'm going to like to be putting you guys through on how to identify each algorithm and then also how to trade the algorithm in the latter part. So make sure you watch the video to the end. And also, if you're yet to watch our previous lesson, please do so to watch it because these are just like the continuation of it. And then all these videos are helping you guys to become what? A smart money trader, a channel trader, trade it like a bank, trade it like a urge, you understand? So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe subscribe and then turn up your notification and like this video so let's get started right now so let me give you guys the definition of price delivery algorithm this is the process of price merging into each other without any gap in between and it is done between three or more candles let me show you an example before you go to our chart you can see like this uh three bullish candle here you can see price was doing what all the way going bullish you can see candle one candle two and candle three then you can see that candle one Candle one eye and also candle three are uh, low. How to like to come into each other, to merge into each other, and then candle two. So the rule is like uh, candle three is not going to go below candle two, and then basically we use this one when you are trading higher time frame. For example, intraday trader. Then you start to analyze your trade from daily time frame, and then from daily time frame you go to like our uh, fifteen minutes. Um, um five minutes you find out where you're expecting price to get to in higher time frame so once price gets to that area then you can react understand so every single time we are expecting price to deliver we are not expecting price to take um the low of what candle two then likewise the same thing for what bearish moment every single time price is going was on a bearish moment you can see you have candle one two three so you can see the low of candle one and also the eye of candle three they have like to merge into each other so the rule is just like candle three is not going to go above candle two uh, candle three is not going to go above candle two so that is just the rule you understand and also candle three has to go below candle two Likewise, for like bullish movements, candle 3 has to go above candle 2. So that is just the two rule, you understand? So that is just it. So we can go into our chart right now. So if you check our chart right now, okay, this is 5 minutes. Let me change it to like to daily time frame. So on daily time frame, I'm going to like to give you guys a lot of example here. Yeah? Then you're going to see when price deliver and then when price is here to deliver, you understand? So let me just start from here. So I said we use three candles. Sometimes it can be more than three candles. It all depends, you understand? So let me just start from this moment here. So you can see we have candle what one. This green candle is candle one. This red candle is candle two. And then this green candle is what candle three. You can see that the height of this candle, um, this candle three here is coming back to candle one. Can you see? It's merging. Then after that, we are just expecting price to deliver price to this uh, area. Then after that, price out to like to go back. Can you see the next candle? This candle one. Let's turn this one to one, two, then three. Can you see this one out to like to go back into it again? Can you see? So this candle three. So let's just turn this one to another word. Candle one, two, then three. Can you see? Candle one, two, and three. Can you see that this uh, this lot to come back to this eye? Can you see it? Eh? This last combat. So likewise, the same. It's all up. So you can choose a weekly time frame. It all depends. You can choose a daily time frame if you want to analyze. Depend on the type of trader you are. You understand? So that's just it. If you have to check this weekly time frame, you can see candle. Let me just increase. Sorry. You can see candle one there. Eh? Candle two. Can you see that this one have to come down a little bit? Just like to tap into this one. Then you can see candle one, two, then three. Can you see that this lunar have to come into this one? But the rule is just like this low is not going to go below this low. You understand? So that's just it. You can see this candle one now, candle two, then candle three. This candle three, can you see that it just has to come into this um eye? Can you see the eye here? Can you see the low? But it's not going to go below this uh, candle two low. So just like that, like that, like that. You can see this one also, candle one, candle two, then candle three. Can you see that this candle one? Yeah. This is the law of candle three. It has to come into what candle one to emerge, to merge together, you understand? But it's not going to go below candle um three. So that just it you can use it in any time frame. Let me go to like um one hour or fifteen minutes. You're going to see a lot of it there. So this is our recent price. So you can see candle one there. Candle one, candle two, candle three. This candle uh three now after like to merge into this candle one. Hope you guys notice this. 
Let me show you some other examples. So just make sure to go to your shelf and then to find out all these things all by yourself, you understand? So you can see candle 1, candle 2, then candle 3 here. Yeah. Sorry? Candle 1, candle 2, then candle 3. You can see this, I have to like come back to this one to merge into each other. So you can see this candle 1, candle 2. But we expect the price to merge into it, but price did that here, yeah. can you see? That's how you say 3 or more candle. So price has to like to deliver the price here. Yeah. So you have a price delivery here. Yeah. To deliver this price to close all this gap so likewise this leader is here to close you can see that price go all the way to close it you understand so you can see we have candle one candle two and also candle three so every single time frame have to deliver hope you guys understand we have what candle one candle two candle three you can see that this candle three has to come into this candle one this is another candle one candle two candle three then can you see that this candle three also come into what this candle one but it's not going to go below this candle too. Can you see you have candle one, candle two, candle three? Can you see it has to deliver? Can you see candle one, candle two, candle three? It has to deliver. Or to price break structure here. That is why you can see that price is not going above this high. Because this low end of breaking the rule. Official are not expecting price to go below what candle two. So this is candle one, candle two. So price go below candle two. Which results in like a break of structure. That is how you can see that price not going above it again. Eh? So all the way price out to like to change direction bearish. So that is just it about uh, price delivery algorithm. So if you have any question concerning this, you can ask me in the comment section. But let me give you guys how to trade it. So as an intraday trader, just go to like uh, what is it called your daily time frame or scalper. People that are scalp trade, you understand. So you can trade this. You can take uh you can use this opportunity to scalp. So that is just let me just go back. I think recent to what is happening recently. So right now you can see that price this day one day two okay, okay. So right now you can see that price out like to deliver to this place. Every single time you are expecting price to deliver to one particular area, just take what your horizontal ray, your trend line, sorry, your trend line, draw a line there. So once you draw a line there, then you'll be expecting price to return back to that line. So you go to what this daily time frame right there. So you go to what lower time frame can go to like um I just use one hour, it all depends. So one hour you go and share what is actually happening in that area. So if you see something like other block, you can make use of the other block. You just know that that's where price is going to just like to tap into the other block. You can see we have what other block here. Okay? Of which price just came all the way down to tap into the other block. Can you see? Then after that price just what did what was going bullish so that is just that is just uh the way how to trade this as a scalper or intraday trader so you can also go um you can also go down again to lower time from like 15 minutes all depends so you just have it in mind that price is still going is coming to this a particular area so 15 minutes you have what this is the other block in 15 minutes so you can see that price tap into it so you can still go down to like uh five minutes it all depends because you're expecting price like to just get towards this area this area here to deliver price in higher time frame so that is for that so you, you if you want to trade it you go to like higher time frame then you'll be expecting price to deliver it and there be a uh you take your entry using what a lower time frame so there are a lot of example like that i just use what's actually up recently for example so you can go back in time and then uh do your own baptizing to see how it's work you can just see that okay price uh, i'm expecting price to get to this particular area so you draw a straight line there and then uh once price delivered then you see the irritation uh ir 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 irritation irritation is going to happen in that area of you're going to see that price going to go what all the way to change direction because it just delivered the price so the reason why price was coming down here just like what to deliver the price so after the price has delivered then price has like to change direction if price is still going towards that direction hope you guys understand what i mean so you can see that price just like all the way coming here share so price has like to be delivered in between in between in between in between in between that's like i can see we have up down up down up down a little bit so price out to deliver so likewise this place also if you check what really happened here so just like as an intraday trader or scalper or like people trading within a day you understand you can just draw a straight line there can you see that price end up tapping into it and then you take the price have to change direction so if you go to lower time frame you're going to see something like other block here you understand so that's just it so 
if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to this channel and then if you find this video helpful please like this video so see you guys in my next video thank you thanks for watching